Hi, I'm Michelle, and today I'm taking you through the number of Kegel exercises you need to do to get the best possible results fast. Now, if you need to know the correct technique, just refer to my video above. It actually outlines in detail how to do your, your Kegel exercises correctly. This is all about getting the right quantity of exercise to do and to get those really good results that you want fast. Now, if you came to see me in the clinic, what we would do is we would test how many Kegels you can do in a row and how long you can do these exercises for. So what I'm giving you today is what you're going to be ultimately aiming to do based on how many you can do at the moment. So you're going to need to test that for yourself. We're going to be talking about long Kegel exercises and short Kegel exercises and then the total number of Kegel exercises you need to do. So stay with me for all of that. Let's start with long exercises first. Now these are for your slow twitch muscle fibers and these work for endurance and for performance. So you need to read between the lines so I can get this video through YouTube about performance. You want your muscles to work for extended periods of time. So in sitting, I want you to basically move forward away from the back of the chair. And we're going to do one Kegel exercise in a row, one of your long holds, so you get the idea. And you can test how long you can hold for in this position. So you're going to lengthen through the crown of your head, lift your crown of your head towards the ceiling. Make sure you have a slight inward curve in your lower back. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, then shorten the penis as if you're attracting it inwards and tighten as if you're stopping the flow of urine. And I want you to do that now. Ready and go breathe in, breathe out, and now retract one two, keep breathing now, three, four, five, keep going if you can, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now relax your muscles back down complete to, completely to resting. Now that is one Kegel exercise. You might have been able to hold for two or three seconds and that's where you start. So ideally, you're trying to do up to 10 of these exercises in a row, making sure that you rest between every exercise and you're trying to aim for 10 seconds each time. Now, our short Kegel exercises. These are for when you need to contract the muscles quickly. Say, for example, when you cough, or when you sneeze or when you're doing a quick lift at the gym. Um, these are your fast twitch muscle fibers that sprinters have lots of these muscle fibers and they need to work quickly. So we want to train these as well in your routine. So this is a fast Kegel exercise. And again, you're sitting tall where you are or you're standing tall if you're standing. And this is a strong, brisk contract and then relax and then contract and relax. Can you do them with me? Go again, contract strongly and relax. And again, contract strongly and relax. Now, remembering with those, you're keeping your buttocks relaxed and you're not pulling your tummy in hard. That's not how you do that. These are the muscles in and around the base of your pelvis and your pelvic floor, which you'll see in that video that I've already referred to. So we've talked about long Kegel exercises. We've talked about your short Kegel exercises. I would be incorporating both of those in each set you do. So let's go through the total number of exercises you need to do. Ideally, you're aiming for 10 of your long exercises and 10 of your short exercises every set you do. And you're aiming to do that three to six times a day. So that's a total of 60 to 120 exercises a day, isn't it? That's quite a lot, isn't it? But you start at where you can start. Don't feel bad if you can only hold for two or three seconds, that's actually quite normal. And if you can only do a couple of reps, that's actually quite normal too. Over time, as your muscles strengthen, you'll find that you can actually do more exercises and build up your volume to that 60 to 120 exercises in a row. So that's how many exercises you need to do in total. And I really hope this information helps you at home get the most out of your Kegels training. If you want information on the best positions, you can check my Kegels exercises for best positions, and that's coming up next in these videos. And also too, if this video has helped you, I'd really appreciate it if you can give it a like below, because then YouTube will recommend it to other guys to watch too. Thanks so much for watching today. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.